This paint color has just the cutest little name. And not only am I gonna tell you all about it, but I'll give you some hand-picked color pairing options by me that you can use alongside it for your upcoming design. It's Pharaoh Balls number 266. And now that we got the color code, let's go ahead and crack it. Crack. Welcome or welcome back to the paint people. And today's video is all about Pharaoh and Balls Mizzle, told you it was great. <laughs> Which is a delightful combination of mist and drizzle apparently. So just a pleasant amount of precipitation. The color itself is a really pretty soft gray green, way less green than what's behind me. And it's yet another green take on the neutral color palette. I would classify it as a mid-tone paint color, and although it seems to feel pretty balanced between cool and warm green, it definitely favors the cooler side of things just a bit, and that's coming from its gray edition. It's also a color that can feel even cooler if you use it in those northern exposed rooms, or you love to use those cooler, overhead LED pot lights. But I don't think that's something you should really be all that concerned about. Mizzle is one of those colors to me that just has a lovely appearance, no matter whether it's bombarded with warm or cool lighting. As long as you don't expect it to be beige leaning or even green age leaning, you should be okay with the outcome. Baron Ball describes this color as a modest gray green named after West Country evening skies when there is a mix of both mist and drizzle. See? The green pigment diminishes any cool blue tones, creating a lighter shade of pigeon and blue-gray. So they're referencing two Pharaoh and Ball colors there, so you can kind of compare them all together. Moving on, Pharaoh and Ball also says, rooms will feel soft and contented when painted in this rather indeterminate color. I do agree that it is neutral feeling, but not nearly as neutral as what a light gray beige color might feel like. Over the years, we've all sort of relied on beige and gray and any combination of the two, especially as our main wall colors. But when you make the switch and use something that is saturated with green, you'll definitely feel it. Green is where design seems to be heading this year, but Mizzle is a slightly different take on the warmer greens we're seeing, and instead it opts for just a slightly cool take on the color. If it's your first time watching Color Code, welcome. We're gonna move on to the color pairing section next, so I'm gonna give you a light, medium, and dark color pairing for Mizzle, as well as an off-white paint color, because I find it's always handy to have a white paint to go alongside your main color. You can use these colors in any real way you see fit, but traditionally the lighter colors are going to be more easily used in those larger areas, and as you get darker, those tend to mainly become secondary or accent colors, but to each their own. Let's start with the light color pairing, which is called Clunch. Another very satisfying paint color name to say. Not to be confused with the word clutch. Can you see me holding my clutch? Clunch is named after the chalk stone used on off-white building blocks of many East Anglian buildings, so it has a very historical sort of reference to it. It has this really lovely creamy quality to it, and it is yellow in its undertones, so it has that yellow base to it. Certainly much warmer than Mizzle, but also a bit lighter as well, so you'll have some noticeable contrast on multiple fronts. The cool thing about Clunch is it's often paired with green colors to exploit that complementary feeling of cool and warm. Because generally speaking, how do I put this? Cooler colors feel pretty cool. I mean, they're a bit chill and serene and more meditative. And then warmer colors like Clunch will feel a bit more homey, more lively, comfortable. These interpretations, they can totally change from person to person, but that's generally how I see them. So just keep in mind how they make you feel when you're picking to use one in one room and the other in another, because that's how I use them. Now for our mid-tone color pairing, this is an exciting color that I feel Pharaoh and Ball just knocked out of the park. It's a lively mint green that is so saturated and it sort of reminds me of the patina on old copper and bronze. It's called arsenic and it's one of those colors that I would not want to do a custom match for another paint company because it is just a singular color to me. It does a really fantastic job at showcasing how deeply saturated Pharaoh Ball's paint colors are with their pigments. It's a stunning color that has a real wow factor to it. Because of that, it's not one that I would envelop a space in necessarily, unless it's an accent room that you don't plan on spending a ton of time in, like a dining room or maybe a front sitting room. 
if you're lucky enough to have that. You know, basically one of those extra rooms, okay? It's also great in something like a bathroom or a powder room, especially if you have some lighter tiles to break up the color a little bit and add some visual dimension to the space. It's also a phenomenal color to pair with our dark pairing to round off these first couple, and that is railings. Now I know I wanted to go with the dark off black color, and there were a few options within the Pharaoh and Ball catalog, but I ended up with railings because of its soft navy blue undertone. It's certainly a dark color, and that navy blue is pretty hard to distinguish sometimes because of how dark it is, but it's there, and I think it fits nicely with the other colors, specifically Mizzle, to keep that cool narrative going. Of the four colors we mentioned so far, they do definitely lean a little more towards the cool side, with the exception of Clunch, good old Clunch. So I wanted to bring even more warmth in with the off-white paint color, which is called Wimborn White. One of my favorite warm whites by Ferron Ball. It's airy and fluffy and definitely contrasts with all the colors, including Clunch, which is also pretty white, but distinct enough from one another. Wimborn White could be a suitable trim color in this case, so you could throw it on your baseboards, your doors, and your frames, or you can use it on something like built-in cabinetry for a fresh light pop. But also don't be shy about painting your doors with railings and that'll give you a much more dramatic dark look because I've been seeing that more and more recently. We have another amazing Ferro and Ball color right over here. And before you click on that, do me a favor and click on the like and subscribe buttons for more future videos. All right, catch you in this video.